In this video, I'll show you my experience doing a 60 by 30 mega panorama. First off, I want to warn you that this process takes quite a while. This footage has been sped up, but in all, this process took over a full hour to complete, something like 75 minutes in total. Keep in mind that by selecting the maximum columns and maximum rows possible, you're asking the dwarf to take 60 times 30 photos, or a total of 1,800 images. Even while you do this with uh, short exposure times, it takes a while for a dwarf to move, settle, snap a picture, store that picture, and move to the next spot. Um, a few things to keep in mind. If you want similar lighting throughout your panoramic scene, you're best off imaging on a sunny day without clouds. If clouds move in while images are being gathered, those images will turn out noticeably darker. I also wanted to mention that at the time of this video, the Dwarf software is unable to assemble panoramas uh, on device. Instead, you need to uh, download these images onto a PC and then use another software to stitch them together for your final image. These pictures can take up a sizable amount of memory during that process, as 1800 megabyte size images require gigs of storage space. Overall, um, I think that it's a really cool option to have. It's still being worked out and perfected by Dwarf.